Hey traders, welcome back to Village Trader Charts with me, your host in Jabulant Bande. Back with the first series for the year. Happy New Year, by the way. I uh, hope you had a, fr a great festive season. Um, we're, gonna look, we're gonna be looking at some charts, uh, but before we do that, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, do support the channel by clicking that like button and uh, what else? hit that all important bell notification button so that you don't miss any of these videos. I try to do them daily with an exception for Wednesday, but there will be a video on a big, pretty much Monday to Friday. So without any further ado, let's get into some charts. So the first one of the day is um, Tiger Brands. So Tiger Brands has been falling for a while, even before um, COVID. Uh, if we stretch back this chart back to the weekly chart, as you can see, it has been falling off a cliff for a while now. And I believe it's the first time that it has made one, two, three, four, about five um, consecutive higher lows, which is quite good. But it has, it seems to have found support at around 216 at the minute. So I'm looking for a break above. Um, so for a three percent break higher, at around two twenty, two twenty, and some change. Um, and and as you can see, the 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 sixty, the thirty day moving average is very very close to to crossing the thirty day. I mean, rather the the sixty day exponential moving average, signaling that we may have we we may start to see um the, the the change in trend in 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 the chart. But for the moment, I'm just looking for that break. Um, above that 216, preferably a close higher um, uh, um, than 220, then I'll be looking to go long of uh, Tiger Brands. And as you can see, we we, we made we crossed through um, the 200 day exponential moving average and both the um, uh, 60 week exponential moving average and the uh, um, uh, 30 week exponential moving average uh, we crossed through that came back to try and retest that 200 day exponential moving average we tried again but not quite um so that that's that that's rather looking good and it does look like um an ascending triangle pattern normally an ascending triangle pattern would be a continuation not a reversal but in this case it is seemingly a reversal pattern and my target my minimum target rather would be that 250 250 level but ultimately, I'll I'll be uh, I'll be pushing my luck, um, trailing my stop behind me, targeting that three ninety seven ish and some change level back to trade um, back to trade in, in in its in its highs, possibly around that four fifty level. But we'll see in time. But at the moment, that minimum target is that two fifty one, and looks like it will have a good dis a, a decent risk reward ratio with a stop just below. Um, that low there at around uh, 119, 199 or 200 there, there's about. We'll see as we're entering into the trade. If we do enter into the trade, um, once we get a close above that 220 level where we put our stop and, you know, looking at the risk reward ratio in that regard. Next on the list is um, Distel. So Distel, when you look at the weekly chart, let me just quickly jump back into the weekly chart. We have this nice horizontal bull flag um, uh, on, on, on Distel. It's a trade I've been in for a while now. I've entered back um, when we're still trading in, in through this range. If I can uh, jump back to my daily chart. Uh, we were still trading uh, into in, in this range, that's when I entered into in, into into the trend, and I've been trailing my stop since, uh, and my stop at the moment is around, just below that low of the Doji there. Around eighty six rand, I'm looking for a break higher, uh, um, to 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 trail my stop. I wouldn't necessarily add into this position just as yet, um, as you know, um, if you knew. Uh, I'm I, I only trading the direction of my weekly trend. So for as long as my 30-day exponential moving average is below um, the 60 60-week rather exponential moving average, I'm not looking to to go long into into that position. But this trade I'm liking quite a bit. Um, when we do uh, uh, have a cross between the 30-week exponential moving average and this 60-week um, exponential moving average, only then I'll be looking to add into this position and trailing my stop. 
um, uh, um, behind me. At the moment, my stop is well, well above my entry point. So for, for all intents and purposes, I don't necessarily have a risk onto this trade. The risk that I carry at the moment is not making as much um, as I should poss um, possibly. But at the moment, I, 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 I don't have um, risk to my capital. I've secured quite a bit of the profits. So another trade that I'm on. Um, so it's multi-choice. Um, I, I first entered on that bull flag there and the break of that bull flag there. Um, we then created another symmetrical triangle. I added into that position and we seem to have to be creating an, yet another symmetrical triangle, uh, rather an ascending triangle pattern there, uh, coming back to, 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 to test that support of the ascending triangle there um didn't break through it uh as of close of market today i'm looking for a bounce back higher and close above that 140 ish level that i'm looking to add again into this position pulling my stop uh um again behind me at the moment my stop is weird out of traffic uh, at around that 121 ish level um so it's weird out of traffic so i'm looking to add into this position once we we um close above that 140 ish level the thing is the thing about me is that i like to add to my winners i like on average uh, uh my, my 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 winners to be much more than my losers are on, on 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 average i want my losers to be um smaller than my losers so in uh, one of the best ways to do that is to adding into the winners and let not only letting your winners run but adding to them as you uh um as you go uh, one of my favorite trades and one of my favorite companies at the moment is African Rainbow Minerals. This, that's our next chart. Um, so I've entered this position back in around September-ish, October-ish on this falling wedge. Um, there I added on that bull flag there. And as we are breaking higher and making uh, a new highs, I've been adding into this position. Been adding into this position. And as you can see, it, 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 it's in a uh, nearly vertical um, uptrend trading in this channel here um, with that mean uh, uh, um, that mean line um, as I've drawn it here in the middle bouncing on that support bouncing back and from that resistance like it did um, last week coming back to to the mean there but it looks like now we're trading on the on the upper side of the of the channel um, so I'm looking for a break above that um, 270, I mean, rather 307. Um, uh, you know, once we break above the 307, we'll be making a new high. We've been making new highs on on American, um, or rather on African Rainbow Minerals for a minute now. If you look back, the last time it traded around these levels was back in 2008 before uh, um, that crash there. Um, it has since it has now since um, have uh, have had a hundred percent recovery. So now I'm looking to 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 once once we make new highs, I'm looking to add again into this position. This this trade constitutes prob probably around fifty percent of my PNL at the moment. Um, I'm liking this trade quite a bit, and 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 like I said earlier, I just keep on adding into this winning uh, position. I just keep adding into this winning position because the key is to cut your winners short. Um, let your winners run and uh, not only let your winners run but adding into your winners to um, uh, compound that return uh, or rather compound that uh, that reward onto that risk without necessarily increasing the risk because at the moment the risk that i have on the trade is less than the the profit that i've already secured in the trade because my current stop is around the 248 well out of traffic and i'm looking to pull it again toward um 266 perhaps once we break through the the want to break through that resistance there that it created um a, a couple of weeks back um a, a week ago and we, once we start to make new highs there i'll be adding into that position so another stock that has been in the news for all the good reasons with the vaccine uh, um, they'll be, I think, I believe they'd be, they will be bottling the, the J and J vaccine. Um, we'll see how that goes. So, 
you know, as I jump back into my weekly chart, I, I like over the weekend, I normally uh, um, jump into into um, weekly charts and, and kind of see opportunities there. Uh, and I publish a, a, a weekly copy every Monday. If you want to, to, to receive that, do subscribe on the village.co.za. I'll leave the link to that uh, in the description below. So as you can see, we have this night we had this nice bullish uh, um, uh, divergence with the price making lower lows um, and it took almost a year uh, uh, for this bullish divergence to 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 uh, um, to set up and ever since that since we've bottom uh, uh, we've bottom the we've been making higher um, uh, uh, higher lows onto the share and higher highs and we we got stuck. We, we seem to have found some resistance at that 150-ish level. I'm looking for a break above um, that one, uh, 150, uh, um, 150 rand level with a close 3% higher than that, which uh, which puts me at about 140, uh, 154 rand 50. Um, so I'm looking for a close above 154 rand. Um, uh, um, uh, 50 to 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 enter into the in, into that position so as my target i use the height uh from that resistance to the bottom and projecting that upward to target that prior support what used to be a support level there um around 240 um basically um extending that range on to the upside puts me around 233 but um i think um, we're gonna when we're gonna go back to test that support what used to be support perhaps now turning into resistance that's where i'm gonna be i'm looking to take my profits as you can see that's a massive massive risk reward ratio there once we break higher on on aspen not in a hurry also as you can see um the 30 week exponential moving average is slightly higher let's see Yes, definitely slightly higher, uh, only by a few basis points, uh, only by a few points there. Um, so that that means now it's eligible eligible for for me to go long, and the two hundred day exponential moving average likewise will be behind me as I'm entering into this position. So um, looks like the trend has changed in 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 Aspen, but we'll see in time. We'll see in time as as uh, um, the price develops over the, the next couple of weeks. A nice trade that I've, 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 I've entered in um, is uh, clicks. I initially entered into this trade on a head and shoulders pattern, um, a giant head and shoulders pattern there. You can see the shoulder there, the head. It's a messy head and shoulders pattern there that's been formed in, in the right shoulder there. And that's when I entered into the, in, into this position as we broke through the neckline, and um, I actually added into this position in uh, this morning as uh, we closed above um, that resistance level there um, on Friday and entered this morning um, on on this position. I'm looking to target the three fifty eight ish um, level on Aspen. Um, rather on, on clicks and as you can see an, a, a nice looking ascending triangle pattern there um, using the width of the uh, um, uh, ascending triangle and from its broadest point to project to project it upwards from the breakout uh, the trade looking good looking good I'm liking it quite quite a bit and I think once we take out that high there uh, we should be off to the races from that point on but we'll see we'll see as the time goes uh, the next trade I'm going to be looking at is Mr. Price. So Mr. Price is an interesting one. Um, let me quickly jump back into my weekly chart. Uh, missed that. But... So we also had a nice bullish um, uh, uh, bullish divergence price making a new low, but the oscillator making a, um, a rather higher low, um, signaling that we might see a change in trend. And since we've we've seen the share making new highs, I'm mean, rather making higher lows, I'm forming this nice round bottom cup and handle formation there. I'm looking 
or you know some would look would be looking at this as a as a as a bullish flag but i'm looking at a break through that um a neckline around 170 177.90 180 so i'm looking for a break higher and then i'll be entering into this position and as you can see the 30 week exponential moving average is very close to crossing the um the the, the 60 week exponential moving average and i believe when if the price crosses through 177.90 these two would have crossed by then at, at, at which point i'll be entering into in, in, in into this position as you can see um, the risk reward ratio would be uh, quite decent um, if I can bring in the long tool there. Looking to target there because I'll be putting my stop just below the handle of the cup and handle formation there. That's a one to three risk reward ratio there. That's a very, very beautiful um, risk reward ratio. And I think the their acquisition of the, the, the power fashion um, stores would add wind uh, at the back of this trade, um, which is quite good, lacking this trade quite a lot, but you know, I'm not jumping the gun at the moment. I'm waiting for that break higher before I enter this into this position because you know, it's very, very important not to preempt uh, uh, um, breakouts, especially when trading breakouts, it's very, very important not to, uh, um, to preempt any breakout because that would, would potentially uh, um, get you whipsawed by the market. The next chart is a a a a a, a grays uh, um a rather cheese grater um quite it's quite a volatile stock um when i jump back into the weekly chart we have this nice huge head and shoulders pattern and and similarly a a a, a bullish divergence price making low uh, new low also later making a high low that means those who don't agree necessarily um these two must be in sync um, uh, um that means the trend is still continuing and once we have a divergence between the oscillator and the price it signals that the, the trend is is about to 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 change and my trend indicators which is my 30 and my 60 week exponential moving average as you can see them the 30 week exponential moving has crossed the, the the 60 week exponential moving average so i'm looking for a break above that neckline uh, um the 32 and neckline um to to enter into this position and using the height of the head projecting that upwards puts me at uh 48 rand that's a very very decent risk reward ratio with a stop below the low of the net um or rather of, of the right shoulder but if we jump back into the daily chart uh let me just expand this a little bit we could not put stop below uh, 280 but rather below the 200 day exponential moving average just below there or perhaps just below those lows there just to give it a bit of room there um, entering at around 30 just above maybe around 33 also um, 33 rand or so with a stop around 28 rand not too bad or with a stop around 30 rand, risking about four rand um, to get uh, uh, um, a bit more than a bit more than four rand on, in, into this position. I, I believe that's about three, one to three risk reward ratio there. Let's see, yeah, about one to four, which is which is quite giant. Uh, but we'll see as as. Uh, uh, um, uh, the next couple of weeks uh, pans out. We'll be mon I'll be monitoring this trade for a while. Uh, I'll be monitoring this trade. I've been actually been monitoring this trade for for quite a while now. Um, since uh, uh, um, late last year, looking into this range, looking for a break higher. We we did have a break, but it was a false break. Came back. We had another one. Um, another false break. Came back. Another false break. They came back. So I'm looking for 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 a break that comes with volume. Um, to 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 go long onto Rand Metro Investment Holding V. Um, the next chart is from Transaction Capital. So with it's interesting with uh, Transaction, we have this nice horizontal uh, bullish flag. Um, it's it seems like we have a strategic seller around twenty six rand and a strategic buyer around twenty three rand. 
um, one of the two will step away eventually. Um, I mean, sellers will run out of stocks to sell and buyers will run out of capital to allocate to the, sh um, to, to the stock. Eventually, one of them will, will, will step out. I'm actually in, in this position and on that break um, through there. Uh, I, I'm looking to pull my stop just below um, the low of that um, uh, um, the demand level there once we break through that um, supply level. Once the, the bulls uh, win this um, range battle, I'm looking to pull my stop to just below the low of that demand level there and um, add into this position. This is a position that I'm already in, but I'm looking to add into the in, 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 into my position. You know, throughout my videos, this, this will be a common theme, me adding into new positions once, if, if, if the market does give me, you know, a second bite of the cherry, I will always be adding into this position. Last but not least is Exaro. Um, I entered Exaro on this, you know, giant um, head and shoulders pattern on that break there. I entered uh, with a stop below that low there, haven't been stopped as yet. And we have this nice bullish flag um, that formed subsequently. And we today we close higher, it means we broke out of the, the bull flag. I'm going to be adding into this position and pulling my stop just below um the the low of that uh uh just below the low of that flag there around 146 ish um and my my target into into this trade is still remains the same at around 178 um because we, we still have we're now entering into the second uh because we broke out of the first range we'll go, we're entering into the second range so i'll be taking profits around 179 and looking um, stay, um, standing on the sidelines to see how the market reacts. I could be adding into this position as well over the next couple of weeks if, if the market does give me uh, um, a good setup to trade on Xaro. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you for hanging with me. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Hit the all, the all important bell notification button so that you don't miss any of these videos. Which I'll try to do them as um, every day, um, do join us. I do a live, um, uh, a live learn to trade CFDs every Wednesday. We're trading live um, CFD accounts with Simon Brown and myself. I actually did a podcast with him. It's out on today and you can grab it from any uh, decent podcatcher, Spotify, Google, iTunes, wherever you. Uh, whatever great podcasts are aggregated, just search for Village Trade. I should find it there and my you know, beautiful face. And um, we have an announcement. We're coming out with some merch. Um, the Village Trader t-shirts will be coming out very, very soon, possibly at the end of the um, at the end of January. Uh, um, the merch will be available. I'll let you guys know as that comes out. So yeah, that's it for to today. Check you again tomorrow. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Village Trader ZA and like the page on Facebook as well at, at Village Trader ZA. I'll leave the link to those in the description below. Also follow me follow me on Trading View. Um, I'm also Village Trader ZA on Trading View. Um, follow me there. I share some good ideas around charts there as well. Link to that top of the description as well. Um, thank you for hanging with me. Check you again tomorrow. Cheers.